Assalamu alaikum students, I am Vaseem Ikram. This is the 17th lecture in a series of 45 lectures on digital logic design. Last lecture, we have two combinational functional units. The first was the comparator circuit, which we have already discussed earlier. There were two versions of the comparator circuit. One is the parallel comparator circuit, where all the bits are checked and then on the basis of those bits, we get three different outputs. The other one we have discussed was the iterative based circuit. In the iterative based circuit, we have told you that there is a module that you can make multiple copies and you can connect it with it. The advantage of it was that if you want to make a 16 bit computer unit, then you don't have to use external logic which you have to use in parallel computer. We have discussed two circuits. एक जो था A equals to B उसका iterative circuit बनाया था और दूसरा जो comparator के circuit हमने देखा था A greater than B उसका एक iterative circuit बनाया था कि examples भी देखी थी दो modules को आपस में connect करके A equals to B भी implement किया था A greater than B भी implement किया था and we said we could implement a similar module using same set of gates for A less than B दूसरी जो चीज हमने देखी थी जो कमर्शियली अवेलेबल फोर बिट कंपरेटर है बेसिकली वो आइट्रेटिव बेस्ड कंपरेटर है उसके हमने कनेक्शन देखा था यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट ट्वेल्व बिट कंपरेटर बाय कनेक्टिंग थ्री ऑफ दोस फोर बिट चिप्स नेक्स्ट जो हमने फंक्शनल डिवाइस देखी थी जिसपे डिस्कशन की थी डिकोडर था डिकोडर बेसिकली हमने कहा था दो इम्पोर्टेंट उसके फंक्शन हैं किसी भी कंप्यूटर सिस्टम में या डिजिटल सिस्टम में एक तो ये है कि उससे हम डिफरेंट डिवाइसेस को सेलेक्ट कर सकते हैं। सो यू हैव अ डिकोडर, इट हैज मल्टीपल इनपुट्स एंड मल्टीपल सेट ऑफ आउटपुट्स। बाय अप्लाइंग अ सर्टेन कोड एट द इनपुट ऑफ द डिकोडर, वन आउटपुट और मल्टीपल आउटपुट्स कैन बी सेलेक्टेड व्हिच रिप्रेजेंट द इनपुट कोड। so, now we have discussed the binary simple binary decoder. You could have a 2 to 4 binary decoder, which will apply 2 input codes, 2 bit input codes. उसकी वजह से चार में से एक आउटपुट सिलेक्ट होगा, so that single output can be used to select any device. दूसरा जो हमने एप्लीकेशन थी डिकोडर की, वो था इंस्ट्रक्शन डिकोडिंग में। कंप्यूटर में, as you know, all programs which you write are converted into machine code, binary की टर्म्स में, ones and zeros की टर्म में रिप्रेजेंट होते हैं। so when you execute these programs, one instruction is fetched. It is decoded basically, as we said in the last example, add है one zero one zero let's say one zero one zero represents the add function. तो computer कैसे उसको use करेगा? एक decoder के input पे ये apply करेगा, decoder का जो output होगा, वो add circuit को activate कर देगा, so addition हो जाएगा. इस तरह आप subtraction कर सकते हैं, कोई और भी operation कर सकते हैं. Decoder circuit की हमने implementation देखी थी, two to four decoder circuit की उसके function टेबल देखा था। हमने बात की थी कि डिकोडर्स जो हैं डिफरेंट टाइप्स के अवेलेबल हैं। टू टू फोर है, थ्री टू एट है। इनको डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशंस में आप कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं टू फॉर्म लार्जर डिकोडर्स। तो आज हम अपनी डिस्कशन कंटिन्यू करते हैं। डिफरेंट डिकोडर्स देखते हैं, उनके आपस में कनेक्शंस so let us start our discussion by looking at the three to eight decoder. We'll start today's discussion by looking at the three to eight decoder. Three to eight decoder, as the name indicates, has three inputs and eight outputs. इसका हम function table भी देखेंगे exactly करता क्या है करता तो क्या है वो हमें पता है basically three bit input code आप apply करेंगे output में जो eight outputs हैं उनमें से एक select हो जाएगा activate हो जाएगा उसमें this three to eight decoder has three chip enable input pins पहले जो हमने two to four decoder देखा था उसका chip enable pin एक ही थी 
Now, this has three chip enabled inputs. This allows uh, different uh, 3 to 8 decoders, multiple 3 to 8 decoders to be connected together to form larger decoders. For example, up two 3 to 8 decoders apas mein connect kar sakte to form a 4 to 16 decoders. That means it has four inputs and 16 outputs. So, by applying a 4 bit code at the input, you can select one out of the 16 outputs. Let us have a look at the function table which describes the operation of the 3 to 8 decoder and then we will have a look at the circuit diagram where we connect the two 3 to 8 decoders to form a 4 to 16 decoder. Let us first look at the function table of the 74LS138, the 3 to 8 decoder. As seen in the function table, uh, there are 6 inputs. G1 input, G2A bar input, G2B bar input. These three inputs are the chip enable inputs. G1 is active high, G2A and G2B are active low. CBA are the data inputs or the code inputs which allows us to select one out of the eight outputs. There are eight outputs Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3 up to Y7. All are active low. Now, to operate uh, the 3 to 8 decoder, all the chip select pins should be activated. So, G1 should be set to 1 because it is active high, G2A should be set to 0 because it is active low and G2B should also be set to low because it is active low input pin. Any other combination would not enable the chip as can be seen by the first three rows in the function table. Now, by enabling the chip, you can apply 3 bit code at the inputs A, B and C. So, by having 0, 0, 0 at the inputs A, B, C, Y0 output is selected. Since it's a, it is active low, therefore, you see a 0. All the remaining outputs are 1. Similarly, by having the input code 0, 0, 1, Y1 output is selected. Uh, by selecting the input code 101, Y2 output is selected and so on. Uh, finally, if you have the code 111, Y7 output is selected, it has a 0, remaining outputs are 1s. Let us now look at the implementation of a 4 to 16 decoder using two 3 to 8 decoder chips. Now, the inputs A, B and C of both the 3 to 8 decoders are connected together. Looking at the chip enable pins, the three chip enable pins, the G1 enable pin for the first decoder is connected to 5 volts. So, it is enabled. G2A and G2B, the active low enable pins are connected to the D input and an enable input. Looking at the second 3 to 8 decoder, G1 enable pin is connected to the D input. G2A and G2B, the two active low pins are connected to the enable input and ground respectively. Now, let us look at the function of the 4 to 16 decoder. Let us suppose you apply a 4 bit code 0, 0, 0, 0. All 4 bits are zeros. Now, the 0 at the D input would activate the first 3 to 8 decoder, the decoder shown on the top. Whereas, the lower 3 to 8 decoder would be inactivated because you have a 0 at the G1 enable input. Which output would be selected? Basically, it depends on the input code at inputs A, B and C. Since it is 0, 0, 0, therefore, Y0 output would be selected. It would be 0 as it is active low. Outputs Y1 to Y7 would be set to 1. Similarly, outputs Y0 to Y7 of the second 3 to 8 decoder would all be set to 1 because that particular chip has not been selected. Let us suppose you apply the code 1, 1, 1, 1. All 4 bits are set to 1. Now, looking at the D input, it is 1. So, the top 3 to 8 decoder, it is not selected because G2A has to be active low. Looking at the bottom 3 to 8 decoder, G1 is connected to D. Since D is 1, therefore, G1 is activated. G2A is connected to the enable pin. It is set to 0. So, it is active again. And G2B is permanently connected to ground. Therefore, the second 3 to 8 uh, three, uh, decoder chip 
has been selected whereas the first 3 to 8 chip has been deselected. Now what is the output uh, state of this 3 to 8 decoder? Since A, B and C are all 1s therefore Y7 output is activated, Y7 output of the second 3 to 8 decoder. It would be set to 0, uh, Y0 to Y6 outputs would be set to 1. Similarly, the Y0 to Y7 outputs of the first decoder would all be set to 1 indicating that it is inactive. We have looked at the function diagram of a 3 to 8 decoder. It has 3 inputs and 3 uh, chip select inputs and of course 8 outputs. We have also seen the implementation of a 4 to 16 decoder using the 2, 3 to 8 decoder chips. Now, one interesting thing which can be done by using these, three, uh, these uh, decoders 2 to 4 or 3 to 8 decoders is to implement a function generator. Well, how do we implement a function generator? Let us suppose you have a 3 variable function table. So, 3 variable function table would have input variables a, b and c. You have 8 possible input combinations. The output would be of course a single column representing f the output. Uh, let us suppose the first term min term 0 0 0 is set to 1 and the last uh, min term 1 1 1 is again set to 1. So, how would you implement this uh, function? Well, you can use logic gates. Now, this same function can be implemented using a decoder. Let us consider the 3 to 8 decoder. The inputs are connected to the 3 variables a, b and c. Now, let us suppose you apply the code 0 0 0. What happens? The output y naught is going to be activated. It would be set to 0 whereas other outputs would be set to 1. Similarly, if you apply the combination 1 1 1 at the input of the 3 to 8 decoder, what happens? The output y 7 is going to be selected. It is going to be set to 0 whereas the remaining outputs would be set to 1. Okay. Since we are interested in implementing the function table which has only two min terms for 0 0 0 and 1 1 1, what do you do? Basically, you connect a NAND gate at the output of the 3 to 8 decoder. Why a NAND gate? Basically, if you remember the 3 to 8 decoder has active low outputs. Okay. So, if you are going to be implementing a function in terms of sum of products, right? So, 0 0 0 represents a product term, 1 1 1 represents another product term. Now, both these product terms have to be odd together. Now, how would you uh, set the active low outputs to active high? You would add two inverters or you would connect two inverters at y0 output and y7 output and then you would connect a two input OR gate what is the end result? What do you get at the output of the OR gate? Basically, it would be a 1 when you apply the code 0 0 0 or the code 1 1 1. For all other codes, the output would be a 0. So, basically, you have implemented a simple uh, uh, function generator based on SOP, the sum of product terms. Similarly, you can implement a function generator based on product of sum terms. If you just consider that same function table where the term 0 0 0 gives an output of 1 and the term 1 1 1 gives you an output of 1. How many max terms are there in this function table? Basically 6 max terms starting from 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, if you look at the 3 to 8 decoder, uh, if you apply any of these 6 terms 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, the output would be 0 at the respective output pins. Now, if you connect an AND gate, okay, AND gate is basically uh, performing the product of sum terms. The output would be a 0. Let us have a look at the implementation of a function generator using these 3 to 8 decoders. Consider the 3 variable Karnoff map having the max terms 0, 1, 3, 5 and 7. How is the Boolean expression going to be implemented using 3 to 8 decoder? The 3 variables a, b, c are directly connected to the inputs a, b, c of the 3 to 8 decoder. The g1 chip select pin is permanently connected to 5 volts logic 1. 
G2A and G2B, the active low chip enable pins are grounded. So the chip has been enabled. Now, when the code 000 is applied, Y0 is going to be selected, it would be set to 0. When the code 001, maximum 1 is selected, Y1 output would be activated. Similarly, when the maximum 3, 011 is applied at the inputs ABC, Y3 output would be activated. And similarly, for the maximums 5 and 7. Now, uh, by connecting a 5 input AND gate to the inputs Y0, Y1, Y3, Y5 and Y7, we have implemented a POS based Boolean expression, product of some form of the Boolean expression. The function table can be implemented in the form of SOP, an SOP Boolean expression by using the same 3 to 8 decoder. The input variables ABC are directly connected to the three inputs ABC of the decoder. The chip selects are uh, set to or connected to 5 volts, 0 volts and 0 volt. The min terms defined by the function table are 2, 4 and 6. Therefore, when 0, 1, 0 code is applied at ABC uh, for min term 2, Y2 output is going to be selected. Similarly, when 4 is applied at the input of the 3 to 8 decoder, Y4 output would be selected and when a 6 is applied at the input of the 3 to 8 decoder, Y6 output would be selected. Uh, now, all three outputs are connected to the input of a NAND gate. Basically, NAND gate, uh, if you have a look at the alternate symbol for a NAND gate, it is an OR gate with three bubbles at the input, meaning three inverters. The 3 to 8 decoder has an active low output. So, by connecting three inverters at the input of the OR gate, the three active low outputs are being converted to active high. So, basically by connecting an AND gate, sum of product uh, implementation of the function has been carried out. We have just looked at the implementation or rather the use of 3 to 8 decoder to implement Boolean expressions uh, both in the sum of product form and the product of sum form. Up till now, the decoders which we have looked at the 2 to 4 and 3 to 8 only activate a single output. For the 2 to 4 decoder, when you apply a 2 bit code, only one out of the four output is selected. Similarly, for a 3 to 8 decoder, when you apply a 3 bit input code, only one out of the eight outputs is selected. Now, we had studied the BCD to 7 segment decoder. BCD to 7 segment decoder, basically it has four inputs representing the 10 BCD numbers. And for each combination of BCD numbers, multiple output segments are activated. For example, you need to display the number 0. So, the BCD code hoga, jo apply karenge, wo hoga 0, 0, 0, 0. Konse segments activate honge? Sare segments activate honge except for the segment G. Isi tarah, agar apne 7 display karna hai, so you would apply an input of 0, 1, 1, 1 representing BCD 7. Output pe kya hoga? Segment A, segment B and segment C would be activated. Baki jo segments hai, they would remain inactive. So, pehle case mein aapke 6 segments activate huye, dusre case mein 3 segments activate huye. So, multiple outputs are being activated. Now, if you remember BCD to 7 segment decoder ka humne function table dekha. The function table mein we had uh, 16 possible combinations because we had 4 variables representing the 4 bit BCD and we had 7 outputs one for each segment. So, A, B, C, D, E, F and G, seven different outputs. We Boolean expressions bhi derived ki thi har segment ke liye. Wo example mein humne dekhaya bhi tha, dekha bhi tha for segment A and B and G. Now, we can directly implement circuits which generate or which activate um, the output of segment A to 1 or set it to 1 when the number 0, 0, 0 is applied for example or the number 7 is applied. So, similarly segment B ke liye hum ek circuit bina sakte hain jab bhi appropriate uh, numbers aap apply karte hain input pe segment B should be set to 1 and similarly for all other segments. Ek to tariqa wohi hai ki aap logic gate choose kar rahe hain, us implement kar rahe hain. Dousra jo asaan tariqa hai to implement this BCD to 7 segment decoder would be to just buy a chip jo commercially available hai. 
सो जो फोर बेट जो है बी सी डी टू सेवन सेगमेंट डी कोडर चिप है इट इज़ द सेवन फोर फोर सेवन ऑफकोर्स इट हैज़ फोर इनपुट्स एंड सेवन आउटपुट्स द सेवन फोर फोर सेवन बी सी डी टू सेवन सेगमेंट डी कोडर चिप इन एडिशन टू द फोर बेट इनपुट एंड सेवन बेट आउटपुट हैज़ सर्टन अदर इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट्स नाउ दीज एक्स्ट्रा इनपुट्स एंड आउटपुट्स allows the uh, bcd27 segment decoder to control the display digits basically if you display a fraction such as 23.71 let's suppose you have three digits which represent the integer part and three digits to represent the uh, fraction part so 23.71 jab aap display karenge most significant digit pe kya hona chahiye basically kuch bhi nahi hona chahiye blank hona chahiye इसी तरह जो सेवन वन के बाद जो है ली सिग्निफिकेंट डिजिट वो भी ब्लैंक होना चाहिए सो so, ये जो थ्री एक्स्ट्रा इनपुट्स हैं बी सी डी टू सेवन सेगमेंट डिस्प्ले के साथ डिकोडर uh, के साथ बेसिकली ये जो ट्रेलिंग ज़ीरोज हैं उनको कंट्रोल कर रहे हैं अगर किसी नंबर में ट्रेलिंग ज़ीरो है तो उसको डिस्प्ले नहीं करेगा इसी तरह किसी नंबर के शुरू में ज़ीरोज़ आ रहे हैं तो उसको भी नहीं दिखाएगा उसमें we are not going to uh, look at the actual implementation of the circuit inside the bcd27 segment uh, decoder but just to recap humne jo pehle equations ya boolean expressions jo derive ki thi segment a b and g ke liye usko zara dobara se dekh lete hain aur unki jo implementation hai using simple logic gates unko bhi zara dekh lete hain usme the boolean expression representing segment a is a plus c plus b d plus b bar d bar the circuit implemented using this expression has a single or gate two and gates and two inverters the boolean expression representing segment b is b bar plus c bar d bar plus c d the implementation of this expression is through a single or gate two and gates and three inverters similarly the implementation of segment g is a plus b c bar plus c d bar plus b bar c it uses a single or gate three and gates and three inverters similarly you can have expressions for other segments and each segment can be implemented using or gates and gates and inverters now most of these segments have combinations which are used by other segments so you can save on these uh, similar terms by having just a single circuit the 7447 pcd 7 segment uh, decoder circuit uh, economizes on these gates by having a single gate for single terms we have discussed two different decoders the binary decoder which has um, either two inputs or three inputs and multiple outputs only one output is activated we have also discussed the bcd to 7 segment decoder which again has four inputs and seven outputs uh more than one output is activated on the application of a bcd code we have a third type of uh, a decoder the bcd to decimal decoder the bcd to decimal decoder is similar to a 4 to 16 decoder 4 to 16 decoder basically you apply a 4 bit code and one out of the 16 outputs would be selected bcd to decimal decoder has only 10 outputs and it uh, each output represents the decimal digits 0 to 9 so if you apply let's say a bcd number such as 11 which is invalid no output would be selected similarly 12 13 14 15 uh, agar ye inputs aap apply kar rahe hain bcd to uh, decimal decoder ke input pe again output jo hai change nahi hoga koi bhi activate nahi hoga so basically four inputs and 10 outputs so again bcd to decimal uh, decoder ke different applications hain let us discuss encoders what are encoders basically an encoder forms a function which is the exact opposite of a decoder encoder ke bhi multiple inputs hain aur multiple outputs hain now by selecting any one input you get a code which represents that input so for example if you have a 4 to 2 encoder uske char inputs honge do outputs honge अब आप चौथा इनपुट जो है वो सिलेक्ट कर देते हैं बाय सेटिंग इट टू लेट्स से लॉजिक वन आउटपुट पे क्या आएगा आपके पास दो बेट कोड आएगा वन वन 
रिप्रेजेंटिंग दैट दी फोर्थ आउटपुट हैज़ बिन सेलेक्टेड इसी तरह अगर पहला आउटपुट जो है वो सिलेक्ट कर लें आउटपुट पे कोड क्या आएगा जीरो जीरो इसी तरह अगर आपके पास एट टू थ्री इनकोडर है इट वुड हैव एट इनपुट्स एंड थ्री आउटपुट्स सो अगर पहला वाला इनपुट आप सिलेक्ट करते हैं आउटपुट पे जीरो 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 आएगा अगर आखिरी वाला इनपुट सेलेक्ट करते हैं देन यू वुड हैव वन 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 एट द आउटपुट सो आउटपुट पे हमेशा एक टू बेड या थ्री बेड कोड आएगा जो रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है कि आपने कौन सा इनपुट सेलेक्ट किया हुआ लेटस हैव ए लुक एट द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ ए एट टू थ्री इनकोडर उसका पहले फंक्शन टेबल देखते हैं कि कैसे फंक्शन परफॉर्म करता है उसके बाद उसकी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन यूजिंग सिंपल गेट्स वो देखते हैं लेट इज कंसिडर द फंक्शन टेबल ऑफ एन एट टू थ्री इनकोडर विच हैज एक्टिव हाई इनपुट्स एंड एक्टिव हाई आउटपुट्स इट हैज एट इनपुट्स आई जीरो आई वन आई टू आई थ्री आई फोर आई फाइव आई सिक्स एंड आई सेवन इट हैज थ्री आउटपुट्स ओ जीरो ओ वन एंड ओ टू नाउ लुकिंग एट द सेकेंड रो आई वन इज सेट टू वन ऑल अदर इनपुट्स आर सेट टू जीरो आई नॉट इनपुट इज डोंट केयर इट कुड बी जीरो और इट कुड बी ए वन The output is zero zero one. This means input one has been selected. Looking at the third row, I two is set to one. All other inputs are set to zero, and input zero is either zero or one. The output shows the three-bit code to be zero one zero. Similarly, looking at the last row, I seven is set to one. All remaining inputs are set to zero the output indicates the code 1 1 now looking at the implementation of an 8 to 3 encoder only three or gates are used and each of the three or gates have four inputs now let's suppose i1 is activated so i1 would have a logic 1 what should be the output code basically it should be 0 0 1 now it can be seen in the diagram that i1 is connected to the input of the first or gate which has an output of o0 so if i1 is 1 output o0 is going to be 1 output o1 is going to be 0 and output o2 is going to be 0 similarly looking at the input i7 when this is activated you should get an output code of 1 1 1 so by following the connection of i7 it is connected to the input of the first or gate it is also connected to the input of the second or gate and the third or gate so whenever i7 is selected a one is applied at the input all three or gates would provide an output of 1 1 and 1 respectively similarly looking at the input i4 i4 should generate a number 1 0 0 o0 should be 0 and o1 should be 0 o2 should be 1 following the connection of i4 it is connected to the input of the last gate which has the output o2 o1 and o0 uh, or gates are not connected to i4 now looking at i0 when this is selected the output should be 0 so in the circuit it is shown as not connected we have just seen the implementation of a 8 to 3 encoder uska function diagram bhi dekha uski implementation dekhi implementation jo hai badi simple si hai teen humne or gates use kiye teeno ke char inputs hain now there is a problem with this particular circuit can you spot the problem what could go wrong with this particular encoder well the problem is agar aap do inputs simultaneously select kare what is the output going to be let's take an example aap input 1 aur input 6 simultaneously select karte hain so input 1 ki wajah se output pe code kya aayega 0 0 representing the one input if and for the input 6 the output should be 1 1 0 ye dono milke aapke paas output pe code kya aa raha hai 1 1 1 7 so simple jo encoder hai usme agar aap एक से ज़्यादा इनपुट सेलेक्ट करते हैं जो आउटपुट पे कोड आएगा दैट वुड नॉट बी करेक्ट सो इसका हल क्या होना चाहिए बेसिकली वी नीड टू मॉडिफाई दी सर्किट और सर्किट मॉडिफाई करके क्या होगा बेसिकली वी असाइन प्रायोरिटीज टू इनपुट्स सो इनपुट सिक्स की प्रायोरिटी इनपुट वन से ज़्यादा है सो इफ यू सेलेक्ट इनपुट वन एंड सिक्स 
the output should give the code for input 6. Similarly, uh, if you select the input 4 and 5, the priority of input 5 is more than input 4. So, at the output you should only see 1, 0, 1. Now, encoders which prioritize their inputs are known as priority encoders. Priority encoders ka logic kya hoga, kaise usko pata lagega ki ye input uh, zyada priority ka hai as compared to another input. Basically simple boolean expressions likh sakte hain usme, aur us basis pe hum ek circuit define kar sakte hain usme. So let us suppose, let us take a very simple example. I2 has a higher priority than I1. So iske expression kya hoga? Basically I2 and I1 ka jo output pe, I2 ki wajah se jo output pe aara hai, 0, 1, 0 aayega and I1 ki wajah se output pe jo aara hai, 0, 0, 1 aayega. So, we could write an expression based on the input I2 and I1 saying that when I2 is active and I1 is active, the output should give the code for I2. Let us have a look at the priority encoder. Let us have a look at the Boolean expressions which have been derived and on the basis of which we implement the priority encoder circuit. Let us develop Boolean expressions for the three outputs O2, O1 and O0 of a 8 to 3 priority encoder. Now these expressions can be written in terms of some variables. So O2 is equal to A7 plus A6 plus A5 plus A4. What do these variables represent? Basically, if you look at the priority encoder's output O2, O2 is going to be set to 1 or it is going to be activated when the 7th input is selected or the 6th input is selected or the 5th or the 4th input is selected. Similarly, the expression, the Boolean expression for output 1 can be written in terms of these variables A7 plus A6 plus A3 plus A2. So, this means that the output O1 is going to be activated when any of the four inputs that is 7, 6, 3 or 2 are selected. Similarly, the Boolean expression for O0 output can be written in terms of A7 plus A5 plus A3 plus A1. That is the output 0 is going to be activated when any of the four inputs that is the seventh input, the fifth input, the third input or the first input are selected. The terms A7, A6, A5, A4 up to A0 can be written in terms of the inputs. So, A7 is equal to I7 the input, A6 is equal to I7 bar I6, I7 and I6 are the two inputs, the seventh and the sixth inputs respectively. Similarly, A5 can be written in terms of the seventh, sixth and the fifth inputs. So, it is I7 bar, I6 bar, I5. A4 can be written as I7 bar, I6 bar, I5 bar and I4. And lastly, A0 can be written in terms of the inputs as I7 bar, I6 bar, I5 bar, I4 bar, I3 bar, I2 bar, I1 bar and I0. Now, replacing the variables A7, A6, A5 and A4 for the expression O2, we have O2 equals to I7 plus I7 bar I6 plus I7 bar I6 bar I5 plus I7 bar I6 bar I5 bar I4. Now, what does this expression represent? If the input I7 is selected, it should be set to 1. Similarly, if both the inputs 6 and 7 is selected, according to the expression output 2 would be activated. Again, if the input I7 and I4 is selected according to the expression O2, output would be set to 1. Now, simplifying the expression I7 plus I7 bar I6 plus I7 bar I6 bar I5 plus I7 bar I6 bar I5 bar I4 gives I7 plus I6 plus I5 plus I4. Similarly, looking at the output expression for output 1 O1. It can be written in terms of the input terms as I7 plus I7 bar I6 plus I7 bar I6 bar I5 bar I4 bar I3 plus I7 bar I6 bar I5 bar I4 bar I3 bar and I2. If you simplify this expression, you end up with I7 plus I6 plus I5 bar I4 bar I3 plus 
I5 bar, I4 bar, I2 and lastly the expression for output 0. It can be written in terms of the inputs as I7 plus I7 bar, I6 bar, I5 plus I7 bar, I6 bar, I5 bar, I4 bar, I3 plus I7 bar, I6 bar, I5 bar, I4 bar, I3 bar, I2 bar and I1. If you simplify this expression, you end up with the expression I7 plus I6 bar, I5 plus I6 bar, I4 bar, I3 plus I6 bar, I4 bar, I2 bar, I1. Now looking at the Boolean expression for output 1 which is I7 plus I6 plus I5 bar, I4 bar, I3 plus I5 bar, I4 bar, I2. It is going to be set to 1 if the inputs 7, 6, 5, 4 and 3 are not selected. So the last term which is I5 bar, I4 bar, I2 would set the output to 1 because of the presence of I2, the input 2. Based on these 3 Boolean expressions, a priority based circuit can be implemented. The function uh, diagram of the 8 to 3 input priority uh, circuit is shown. It has 8 inputs and another input which basically enables the chip. So, E1 bar is active low, it is set to 0 to activate the 8 to 3 priority encoder. The remaining 8 inputs I0 to I7 are all active low. So, in order to select an input, you have to apply a 0 at the appropriate input. There are 5 outputs. A0 bar, A1 bar, A2 bar representing the 3 active low outputs. There are 2 additional outputs EO bar and GS bar. The EO act, uh, active low output represents the enable output and GS active low output represents the group select output. The group select output and EO output, the enable output are used to connect multiple 8 to 3 uh, priority encoders to form larger encoders. The two uh, active low outputs are used to connect multiple 8 to 3 priority encoders to form larger encoders. Now looking at the function diagram again, uh, let us suppose the input 4 is selected. So it is going to be selected by applying a 0 there. All the remaining inputs i5, i6, i7 have to be a 1 the inputs which are at a lower priority that is 0, 1, 2 and 3 can be 0 or 1. The output of the priority encoder would be 1 uh, rather 0, 1, 1. Similarly, if input 1 is selected, it is set to 0. All the higher priority inputs have to be 1 indicating that they are inactive. The input 0 that is the first input can be either a 0 or a 1. The output would indicate 1, 1, 0. The 8 to 3 priority encoder which we have just looked at the function diagram and its implementation is basically the 74148 8 to 3 priority encoder. Now you can implement a larger uh, priority encoder that is uh, 16 inputs and 4 outputs by connecting two of these 8 to 3 priority encoders. So how would you connect them as we mentioned? You have two outputs, the enable output and the group select output. Basically these outputs are used, the enable output particularly is used to connect the two 8 to 3 priority encoders. So let us have a look at the implementation. In order to implement a 16 input priority encoder, you have to use two 8 input priority encoders. The three outputs are connected together through three NAND gates. The active low enable output pin of the first 8 input priority encoder is connected to the active low input pin, enable input pin of the second 8 input priority encoder. Now let us suppose you select input 4 in the first priority encoder. What happens? The output shows the code 4. If you look at the function diagram, the enable output of the first encoder is set to 1 which means the second encoder is not selected. Similarly, if you select the input pin 8, which is the first pin of the second encoder, the output would be set to 8. Let us suppose that we select the input 0 of the second encoder, which means it is the 8th input of the 16 input 
uh, priority encoder. What is the output? Basically, the output would be 0, 0, 0 because input 0 has been selected of the second encoder. A3 output would be set to 1. Looking at the function table, the first encoder has not been selected. None of the 8 pins have been selected. Therefore, the E0 output would be set to 1. Therefore, the 4 bit code is 1, 0, 0, 0 representing the 8th input which has been selected. Let us look at another uh, encoder, the BCD to decimal encoder. The BCD to decimal encoder has 4 inputs, rather 10 inputs representing the 10 decimal digits 0 to 9 and the output is 4 of course representing the BCD number. So, uh, where are we going to use this? Basically, you have a keypad which is telephone pe laga hua hai, ya computer ke jo numeric keypad hai, usme bhi dust digit hote hai, usme. Now, when you press any number, you need to code that into binary or BCD so that uh, the rest of the circuitry uh, can use that number. So, kya hoga? basically you would connect each of the 10 keys of your keypad to the 10 inputs of the decimal to BCD encoder. So, whenever you press any key, you would get an output BCD code which represents the key number. Of course, this uh, decimal to BCD encoder is a priority based decoder. So, uh, if you press two keys, you would simply get a single output representing the number of the highest priority digit. The 74147 is a decimal to BCD priority encoder. It has 10 active flow inputs representing the decimal digits 0 to 9. It also has a 4 bit BCD output all outputs are active low. Now, at the 10 inputs of the uh, BCD, uh, the decimal to BCD uh, priority encoder, 10 different keys are connected. One end of each key is grounded and the other end is connected to 5 volts through a resistor. So, whenever a key is pressed, the output, the appropriate input of the priority encoder would be set to 0 because the key uh, connects the input of the priority encoder to the ground. So, let us suppose key 0 is pressed. So, the input 0 would be set to 0. The output would give the code 0, 0, 0, 0. Let us suppose the key number 7 is pressed. Input at pin 7 of the priority encoder would be set to 0. The output would be 0, 1, 1, 1 representing the number 7. If none of the keys are pressed, the outputs at the input of the priority encoder would all be high. Therefore, the output BCD code would be all ones. We have looked at uh, the implementation of priority encoders and we have also looked at the application of a priority encoder. Basically, the keypad is connected uh, connect karte hai priority encoder. Ke saath, whenever you press a key, you get a 4-bit BCD representing that particular key. Now, that 4-bit uh, BCD can be used by your digital system for further processing. Another important, rather a very important uh, functional device is the multiplexer. Multiplexer kya hai? Basically, it is like a data switch. It has multiple inputs and a single output. Now, by selecting any one input, the data at that input is routed to the output. Let us talk about a 4 to 1 multiplexer. 4 to 1 multiplexer of course has 4 inputs and a single output. In addition to the 4 inputs and a single output, you have data select inputs. So, you would have 2 data select inputs. So, by writing 0, 0 at the 2 data select inputs, you would be selecting the first input and the data available at that first input, it could be 0 or 1, it would be directly routed to the output. So, if you have selected input, pe aapne select kiya hai, jo data hai, wo 0 hai, output pe aapko 0 nazar aega. Again, if you have selected input, select kiya hai, us pe data 1 hai, wohi 1 jo hai, aapko output pe nazar aega. Similarly, you can select the last output by applying 1 1 at the data select inputs. Jab 1 1 aap karenge, chotha input select ho jayega, us pe jo bhi data value 0 ya 1, wo aapko output pe 0 ya 1 ki shakal mein nazar aega. 
Let us have a look at the function table which represents the operation of a 4 to 1 multiplexer and the implementation of a 4 to 1 multiplexer. But before that, multiplexers use kaha honge? Basically, jo uh, aapka microprocessor hai, ALU ki arithmetic logic unit ki humne baat ki thi. Arithmetic logic unit ke do inputs hote hain. Un do inputs pe aap kya karte hain? Do different values ya quantities aap apply karte hain. Then you select the ALU function. ALU jo hai, us pe operation perform karta hai. Add karega, subtract karega, logical operation karega. जो दो क्वांटिटीज हैं वो कहां से आएंगी बेसिकली इनसाइड द माइक्रोप्रोसेसर आपके पास डिफरेंट लोकेशंस हैं व्हिच आर नोन एज रजिस्टर्स रजिस्टर्स आर लाइक स्मॉल मेमोरीज उन रजिस्टर्स में आपके डिफरेंट क्वांटिटीज या वेरिएबल्स पड़े हुए हैं सो लेट्स से आपने जमा करना है वेरिएबल ए द कंटेंट्स ऑफ वेरिएबल ए विद द कंटेंट्स ऑफ वेरिएबल बी सो आप क्या करेंगे जो रजिस्टर ए है व्हिच रिप्रेजेंट्स वेरिएबल ए एंड रजिस्टर बी व्हिच रिप्रेजेंट्स वेरिएबल बी उन दोनों को आप सेलेक्ट कर लेंगे उन दोनों का जो इंफॉर्मेशन है जो डाटा है वो आप कनेक्ट कर देंगे दोनों ALU के इनपुट्स पे सिमिलरली इफ यू नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई द वेरिएबल C विद वेरिएबल B फिर आप क्या करेंगे जो रजिस्टर C है उसके कंटेंट्स और रजिस्टर B है उसके कंटेंट्स वो आपने कनेक्ट कर देने दोनों ALU के इनपुट्स पे now as you can see there are multiple inputs aapke paas let's say 10 registers hain a b c se leke aage tak so 10 registers hain unme se kisi ek mein se aap data select kar sakte hain so 10 different inputs one output output kya hai wo alu ka jo input hai so aapke paas do multiplexer units hone chahiye dono ke 10 10 input hone chahiye aur ek output hona chahiye so by uh, uh, selecting the appropriate input आप appropriate register से data आप root कर सकते हैं ALU के outputs पे so एक ये main application है there are other more interesting applications जो हम बाद में देखेंगे so let us first look at the function table of the multiplexer and its implementation let us have a look at the 4 to 1 multiplexer it has 4 inputs and 1 output you can select any one of the inputs by applying the select inputs so there are two select inputs s0 and s1 so when they are set to 0 0 the output is connected to the first input or i0 by applying the select inputs to 0 1 or setting the select inputs to 0 1 the input i1 is routed to the output similarly by selecting input uh, values 1 0 the input 2 i2 is routed or attached to the output and lastly when the select inputs are set to 1 1 i3 input is connected to the output so any values at the appropriate inputs are available at the output now looking at the implementation of the multiplexer circuit you have four AND gates their output is connected to the OR gate now looking at the input 0 the first AND gate is selected when the select inputs are both zeros because they are connected through inverters now the first gate is enabled when s0 and s1 are both zeros whatever the input at i0 it could be 0 or 1 it is passed through the AND gate and it is seen at the z output other three gates are not selected so the output of the AND gates the other three AND gates is 0 so the output of the OR gate depends on the output of the first AND gate similarly if s0 and s1 are both ones the last AND gate is selected all the remaining three AND gates are deselected so their output is 0 now if i3 is 0 the output of the fourth gate is 0 and the output of z or uh, the output of the OR gate is also 0 if i3 is equal to 1 the output of the fourth AND gate is 1 the output at the uh, OR gate z is also a 1 so basically by selecting the appropriate input the appropriate data values at the respective inputs are passed to the output we have looked at the implementation of a 4 uh, input multiplexer commercially there are different type of multiplexers available in different configurations so you have 8 to 1 multiplexer which has 8 inputs and any one uh, input or any single input can be connected to the output 
जो फंक्शन सेलेक्ट पेंस होंगी वो तीन होंगी क्योंकि आपने आठ में से एक इनपुट को सिलेक्ट करना है सिमिलरली यू हैव सिक्सटीन इनपुट मल्टीप्लेक्सर विच हैज सिक्सटीन इनपुट्स वन आउटपुट जो फंक्शन सेलेक्ट और रेदर इनपुट सेलेक्ट पेंस हैं वो चार होंगी द मल्टीप्लेक्सर विच वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ इज ए क्वाड फोर इनपुट मल्टीप्लेक्सर बेसिकली चिप है वन फाइव थ्री उसमें दो फोर इनपुट मल्टीप्लेक्सर लगे हुए हैं उसमें सो यू कैन यूज दैम सेपरेटली और यू कैन कनेक्ट दैम टुगेदर टू फॉर्म डिफरेंट कॉन्फ्रिकेशन ये जो फोर टू वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर है जो क्वाड मल्टीप्लेक्सर हैं इनका जो इम्प्लीमेंटेशन है जो गेट्स जो हमने यूज़ किए हैं इट इज़ वेरी सिमिलर टू दी सर्किट यू जस्ट सॉ एक्सेप्ट फॉर दैट यू हैव टू चिप इनेबल पेंस सो यू कैन इंडिविजुअली सेलेक्ट बोथ दी मल्टीप्लेक्सर टुगेदर और सेपरेटली Let us have a look at the implementation of the quad four input multiplexers. Let us have a look at the quad four input multiplexer. That is, each multiplexer has four inputs and a single output. The first multiplexer has the inputs one C zero, one C one, one C two, one C three. The output is one Y. The second four input multiplexer has the inputs two C zero, two C one, two C two. And 2C3. The output is 2Y. The implementation is similar to the four input multiplexer which we discussed previously. It uses each multiplexer uses four AND gates and an OR gate. The AND gates have four inputs. Basically, one input is from the input to the multiplexer. The other input is from the chip select. So there are two chip selects. One G. for the first multiplexer and 2g for the second multiplexer both these chip selects are active low therefore you see two inverters at the respective chip selects the other two inputs to each gate and gate is from the uh, input select a b the input select a b are again active low basically two uh, not gates are connected together why do we have extra not gates basically to reduce the fan out if we do not have the extra uh, not gate connected at the a input how many uh, uh, gates does the external circuit see basically an inverter and four other and gates so the fan out would be reduced by 5 because the unit load is 5 for this particular circuit for the input a similarly for input b if the first or the extra inverter inverter is not connected externally uh, the fan out would be reduced to 5 because input b is connected to 5 gates the not gate and 5 and gates now both these uh, multiplexers can be operated independently let's suppose you need to use the first uh, four input multiplexer so you would be connecting Uh, or using the first four inputs IC zero, IC one, IC two, and IC three, uh, you would be using the chip select one G. The input select pins A and B are connected to both the inverter uh, uh, to both the multiplexers. So if the second multiplexer is not used, uh, the inputs A and B would not make any difference. We have looked at the implementation of a uh, dual four uh, input multiplexer. As I've said before, there are different configurations, which we'll discuss in the next lecture. Mein discuss Aapna khayal rakhiye ga. Agle lecture mein hum discussion dobara multiplexes se start karenge. Udafiz, uh, assalamualaikum.